Hi, I'm Michael Worley. Thanks for taking the time to think about shooting with me. Um, I know there are hundreds and hundreds of photographers out there, so it's not something I ever take for granted. I come from an acting background myself, um, six years as an actor, and then six years now running my photography business. So I've got quite a lot of experience on both sides of the camera. And the sorts of shoots I offer are tailored to the different needs of different sorts of clients who come into my studio each day. I think a good headshot session is really a dialogue between two people and I would encourage you to think of it as a trip to the hairdresser where you're going to have some input rather than a trip to the dentist where you're just going to sit still and wait for the pain to be over. So no matter how I shoot, no matter what the kind of session you've booked, there are some things in common to how the session will go. And one of those is that before the shoot I will send you out a welcome pack. Um, now that's to ask you to do some preparation before the shoot itself. Now in some senses that's practical, thinking about clothing and hair and makeup and the sorts of ways that you want to control how your image comes across in the sheet itself. Some of the preparation is about more abstract things. What are your ambitions? What sort of work do you want to get? What's your emotional quality as an actor? What kind of roles have you got that you want to get more of or roles haven't you got that you'd like to get some of? All of those things we're going to chat about at the start of the session over a coffee before we then go on to the body of the sheet. The Pro is a focused shoot that really suits experienced actors or maybe those who know they're very assured in front of camera. It lasts about an hour and a half and the way that it works is I'll ask you to brief me and I'll help you choose the clothes and the outfits and the ideas that are going to really work to tell the stories you want to tell in your casting photos. Because I was worried that it might be a bit too warm, it might wash me up because it was a bit no, I don't think so. It's not too brilliant to white. I mean, I think it's your right. And then over the course of the shoot, we're going to vary the lights, we're going to vary the background. I'm going to chat to you about the sorts of thoughts you're using and how the camera's seeing you. You'll get some chance to look at the shots, whether it's on the back of the camera or on the screen together. I went for this kind of session because there were two shots that I really wanted to get. Something that was a really strong classical look, because I already get quite a lot of classical auditions but then something that was a bit more youthful and contemporary and maybe more TV oriented. I had a really clear idea of what I wanted to get out of it. You'll leave with two, maybe three, if we're racing ahead, maybe even four, quite distinct batches of shots. And you and your agent can choose, select from those batches to make sure you've got a really rounded portfolio or to add to existing shots that you've already got. The complete session is a longer, more organic shoot that really suits actors at any stage of a career who want to create an entirely new headshot portfolio spanning the full range of their casting. The shoot will last up to three hours. Once we've had a conversation at the beginning about your ambitions for the shoot, your casting types, and we've had a really good look through your clothing choices, we're going to pin down three, four, it might even be as many as five, six, seven, eight very different looks which we'll achieve with different backgrounds, with different energies, with different thoughts. Um, so you will have an awful lot of range as you leave the shoot. Really nice. Yeah. Just that one, that one. Now, why more time? Well, it might be that you've got complicated hair and makeup planned. It might be that you're someone who's quite nervous in front of camera and you know it's going to take you a bit more time to relax. Um, or you might just have a lot of different things that you want to try and shoot over the course of our time together. The other reason for a longer shoot is review time. Now this makes it a really genuinely organic process, not about me shooting you, but about us together working out what works for you. Okay, let's have a little look through them yeah. So with each batch of shots that we take, we're going to just take five minutes out, sit down with a cup of tea at the computer and chat through them. And I know that 40 or 50 shots of you can be a bit of a horrible thing to have to look at, but what it does give you is a lot of feedback about how your performance is reading for the stills camera. Yeah, how much of a difference it makes. After every 
couple of shoots after you know every look that we wanted to get by we we sat down and we looked at the screen and we looked at the pictures and said oh that's nice that suits you or you know we could, or we could change that a little bit to make it a little bit better and that was really helpful because instead of just doing the shots you really nailed the shots and you really got what you wanted and you really got what you needed actually <laughs> And that means it's not just about me telling you what looks good on camera, but when we go back and shoot, you've got that added confidence and the knowledge that the camera's seeing what you're doing and it's coming across in the right way. Hope you found that a useful insight into the different sorts of shoots that I offer and the ways that we might work together. You might also like to check out my Take Control of Your Headshots web series and do get in touch via the site if you'd like to discuss working together further. I'll look forward to shooting with you.